my stamping friends, this is Oksana from funstamper.com and right now it's Wednesday, 6 p.m. Eastern Time and I'm live today with another funky Wednesday for you. Let me adjust my camera and also give a few minutes for this event to pop up in your feed and we will get started. I have very fun project for you today. It's a funky fold card and that funky fold is uses um, um, 6 by 12 piece of cardstock. So it's a lot of fun to create with that particular size. So this is the card. It's my prototype I designed. So it's look like this. Let me put those on the side. So it's look like that. It's kind of a little bit of St. Patrick's. Uh, day and then when you open you see both sides of paper a couple weeks ago we actually created a card that uses both sides of designer paper and i really like it because you don't need to choose you could use any uh, side of designer paper so you showcase both so this is the card number one and we could recreate but i also here is a couple alternative and i'll talk about them as well i was just quick designing today um, kind of showing um, kind of different options for how you could decorate. And this one will be using new sweet um, Hello Irresistible bundle from Stamping Up. All right, let's get started. If you're here and you uh, see me, please comment. Um, I see Monica is here. Great. All right. Um, all right. Let's 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 see what we need. So for this card, we're going to use a um, few supplies. I used Friendly Gnome. So I saw it actually saw something similar that called with uh, green. Um, and I thought, oh, that's cool. Uh, I actually don't have a um, St. Patrick's Day uh, card, but we were invited to the party. So I definitely need to have one. So, and I love gnomes. Um, so we're going to use that. And also it has matching dice. It's carrying over. Um, but, you know, if you wanted to fussy cut, you could fussy cut. All right, let's get to supplies. And the color we're going to use today, it's interesting. It's not my typical color. This color is shaded spruce. So we talked um, recently in my Facebook page uh, about color refresh. So Stamping Up going to retire some colors, going to bring some new colors back and um, introduce completely new colors. So nobody basically know what it will be and people, some people freaking out because they don't want their favorites go away. And we all guessing. So we're taking um, a guess as who will be, which color will be retired. And we just chatted and I was thinking about greens and this is the color that I actually don't use much. Um, we use it maybe for one or two Christmas classes, and that's pretty much it. So I thought, you know, let me kind of use it, you know, in case it gets retired. So at least I kind of have my own opinion. Um, for this card, uh, what we will need, we will need five and a quarter by 12 piece of designer paper. Um, and this is the easiest way is actually to create with a lawns of 12 inches designer paper. And this one is from Celebration, um, Denty Designs. I have plenty of those. So I thought green, kind of perfect for that. So, um, and I chose the size uh, slightly smaller than a card. So you have equal border. Okay. So let's do really simple scoring and a little bit of cutting. So use either a simple score or your um, trimmer. So you're going to score at two and four. And then I'm going to flip it and I do the same. Two and four. So really simple measurement. So you could do two, four, eight, and ten. Okay. And it's interesting too. I'm not putting uh, this one away. I wanted to show you. So you basically gonna fold it like so. And as you could see, this is exactly how I fold it first time. And, but you have choice. You could use different side. Just wanted to make sure it's nicely aligned. It's in my bone folder. 
and back. So let me actually go ahead and rescore it or fold it backwards because I want a slightly different pattern and want to see how it's going to look. So we're going to do it's exactly the same scoring. I'm just scoring it now with this pattern inside and moving this one. So this is the pattern is really, really subtle. So I'm not even, you know, not sure I love it, but you know, it's, well, give it a try. So now I wanted to do a little tick marker, two inches on both sides for cutting. So I'm gonna put two inches here and I wanted two inches here. So I'm gonna flip and do two inches. You could do it on your cutter as well, but this is all we need to have our scoring board. Um, the, actually, the, um, I saw this, this um, fold, um, Lady Michelle from Australia. Uh, I will try to link her blog um, tomorrow when I'm gonna post everything. So I saw her doing this one, it was fascinating. So I could not, I saw it when I was on vacation last week and I could not come, wait to come home and try. And I had this paper in mind and basically gnomes. So now you see that little tick mark. So we'll take our cutter and we're gonna position to cut from this score line to the tick mark. And you want it to be, you know, as precise as possible. I think it's good enough. You're gonna cut it. And we're gonna do exactly the same on this side. So from the tick mark to this top score line. Okay. Just wanted to make sure I'm doing. All right, so we don't need a cutter anymore. So this is, see, you already kind of see the paper peeking through and it's now that pattern is much more interesting. Don't you think? Okay, so now we're gonna bring our glue and what we wanna do, we're gonna flip the paper and just glue it like this. And this creates the illusion that it's kind of folded that way, but it's really that piece is glued down. And it's two by two, so you could reverse. I like the patterns, the contrast patterns. So like you see, it's lighter um, in front and darker on the back, or maybe different color. When it's kind of similar color, I'll show you on Irresistible, it's not, you know, that big a contrast. It's still stunning, but. So we're gonna glue it here. And we're gonna glue this one here. And you could see our card is already coming together. So let me make sure it's awesome. All right. So this is the opposite one. See how different it look like? This different green. So now uh, I'm gonna glue this one on a quarter sheet of a cardstock. Yeah, hi Kathy, glad you catching me live first time. Six o'clock, I actually miss, missed last week. Uh, I was traveling to Portland and it's three hours different. And with all my classes I had week before, I thought maybe I'll pack some supplies um, to take with me and create some folds for you, but it just didn't happen. So I allowed myself to slack that one time. But no trips planned. So time should be the same and I, always try to give you kind of some easy but fun fold that you could recreate the supplies you have. All right, so this is the card for now. Um, we will have extra piece to put inside. So it's slightly smaller, like 518 by 378. So technically that piece inside is covered. And let's just do some stamping. As I mentioned before, we're gonna use Friendly gnome, kind gnome, friendly gnome, it's a lot of gnomes. Let me put this one aside for now. So what I did, I cut two circles and I'll show you why I did cut two circles. Uh, so it's the largest stitch circle. I don't have quite as big scallop one, so I'll show you what we're gonna do with that. Let me bring a stamp set. And 
Let's do some little, some background. I want to set flower. Like we were saying, I'm trying to use today's shaded spruce as I normally don't use that color. And it will be perfect for St. Patrick's Day. Okay, let's do this piece. And this one, I actually wanted to send it to my daughter. And I want to love you as a sentiment. She she, she actually, I was so touched um, when I came this time to Portland to see all the cards that she has that I kind of sent her in last year or two years. She kind of has them everywhere. So it's kind of so heartwarming to see that like she appreciates those things and like she said it's reminding her about me yeah, she will be turning 25 this month have to design a really fun fold for her all right so let's stamp this um circle with some small elements because that flower is also pretty fun Could have stamped it a little bit better, but I hope it will color. All right, maybe I'll just stamp it higher. I think I wanted it higher. And let me stamp the sentiment. Love you on top. Did I just shake you guys? A little bit of grass. We're gonna stamp this little girl gnome. This card had a guy gnome, and we're gonna do a girl gnome, and we're gonna stamp her in memento. If my friend Michelle here, hopefully, I will change her mind. She said this girl is a little bit scary, but. She is cute. All right, so let's color. I mean, not gonna. I'm not gonna color the entire gnome. I have it done. But I'll kind of show you which one we're using. Let me put this one aside. So again, as we do in St. Patrick's, and this is a matching color. So we're gonna use um, Granny Apple Green. It's actually this green I really love. So hopefully it's not gonna go away. I didn't use it recently. I guess maybe designer paper didn't have it, but I really like this color. This is shaded uh, spruce. Pumpkin pie for her hair. So she's kind of little Irish girl. Um, some, I think, a Polish pink for, for her flowers. Um, pale papaya for face. And crumb cake for her uh, foot. Okay, we actually not going to color. I did color this one ahead of time and die cut. Doesn't want to get out. So here is little little she, and let's just color quickly this. Stem, um, and this one I am using Granny Apple Green, the light one. I like this stem set with flowers, so it's just you don't require a lot of coloring. You just kind of. And flower, we're gonna do red, so it's the same red to match the one I cut, I color her hair, uh, head, or flower on her head. Yeah, St. Patrick's Day is in a little bit over than one week. It's coming fast, and I'm glad it's Friday. I'm actually gonna host a class this Friday and Saturday, so we'll do something special for St. Patrick's. So, this is my girl, all right. And like I mentioned before, this piece was not quite as big, so I cut it in half, and this is why I'm using second circle. Um, we're gonna go ahead and adhere it to the top and the bottom. And because I did color it, and we kind of, that circle is not full circle, this is why I cut second one to kind of mask it. 
it's totally optional. You could use any circle, um, but if you know, if you're coloring, it probably better. If you kind of mask it, see, like I glue it, and it's not really perfect. I wanted this little banner as well. Um, the stitch circle and banner came from Stylish Shapes, uh, most used dies that I have. Um, they were on back order for, for some time. If you don't have them, I strongly recommend those. And you're gonna glue this piece. Just wanna make sure it's kind of straight. I think it's good enough. You're gonna cover. Oh, I should have stamped my. And I'm gonna do the stitching on the back. All right, now is the fun part. Now we're gonna assemble it. So close the card. And this is gonna go in the center, like so. And you could see all the imperfections, but we're gonna roll with that. Um, grab a couple dimensionals. The easiest way to apply dimensionals is to put two here, close to the fold, and one on the left side. Go ahead and uh, remove it. Right, and isn't that she is so cute with the St. Patrick's theme? Too bad we're not doing wine class before St. Patrick's. We will definitely will be doing her. But all right, and now let's go ahead and add her with. Oh, she's so cute! I think Sophia would love her. So this is really good way if you do have this paper um, it's gonna be fantastic to use it um, kind of 12 by uh, 12 by 12 pieces for this card you don't really need to have much more supplies and designer paper already doing the job so I'm gonna stamp a couple of those flowers and color and be all finished for that card but wait, I have another idea, and I'll talk about you to you about why I came up with that. So, like I mentioned, um, this video came across in my YouTube feed from Michelle from Australia. Uh, but she used, like she showed a couple different even way to cut it. Uh, but everything she used, she used 12 by 12 paper, and it's awesome, easy, easy scoring, uh, everything. But uh, a lot of papers that I ac absolutely love from Stamping Up don't come at 12 by 12, so it's 6 by 6, right? Um, and as you could see, we're gonna, in about a second, adhere our center. Um, you don't really see that big piece, right? So I wanted to create the same kind of fold, but using six by six. So this way you will need two pieces, but also you'll have a little bit of leftovers. So now I'll show you in a little bit how we're gonna make it. So stick around as I'm finishing all the pieces. All right, look at that. Let me put some bling. This card, I could not put a ribbon. I Believe me, I tried. If you know me, you know I like bling and I like ribbon. But this one, um, it was nowhere to put. Maybe for her, maybe in, I don't know. So let me put those two rhinestones on the side. Let me, I do have all the U-Pick tools and you name it. I just always like to use my fingers. All right. So what do you think? Do you like the guy or the girl and see the same paper and we just fold it differently when i did it for this one i thought i want to see more green and i chose this design and it's actually this one shows much more green right all right so this is card number one and card number two let me put the stamps at the side because i may not have enough blocks and card number two we're gonna create, and I wanted to use that irresistible 
uh, Hello Irresistible new bundle. It's actually really interesting bundle, caught my attention. We did use it, I believe, last time um, when we created with you ladies um, some with the strips of paper. So Hello Irresistible, it's a new bundle. It's only available online. Um, love the fonts, flowers. I, mean, I always love flowers, but like this splatter is my favorite, and fonts. It's absolutely gorgeous, and dice are super fun as well. So dice. Um, this one is particularly fun. It's cut like really cool shape in the middle, but not cut everything completely. I'll show you samples. It's actually on my blog. I already created a couple things. I feature this particular bundle as my fun creations club for this month. Um, visit funstamper.com and go to uh, fun creations club and you could see all the details. It's actually, if you're considering getting this bundle and want to um, supplies to create eight cards, um, it's actually a really economical way because I give the discount on a bundle uh, for my club member. And this is the paper. So like, see the paper is gorgeous, but it's six by six, right? So it's will not gonna be good for the fold. So I like this mono monochromatic uh, colors. Um, so I did create a practice, I did create this card. Um, super simple because I didn't even stamp much. I use, the paper has, let's see if I could find the piece. Already use entire piece. Like this piece, you could die cut uh, or you could fussy cut all the flowers and no work and the same with the leaves. So this is the card and it was what I'm saying. See how it's kind of subtle. It's not that bright, right? Because the other uh, side is pretty much the same color. So this is the but it's cool how you could see both sides of paper and kind of look so fancy and luxurious. So uh, we're going to use actually this pattern. I don't know how it's going to turn out. I still have then use this pattern. Um, but I normally like, I don't want to use a pretty pattern. You're almost kind of saving it. I'm like, no, I'm going to live bold today. I'm going to use um, this particular pa pattern. And we're going to use two of those. Um, and we're gonna actually talking about color refresh. So this paper, this is how everything started and people kind of were guessing what's going on. So this paper actually has, oh, let's see the pattern. So this is pretty peacock. It's color that retired, I wanna say two years ago. It was in color and then it's retired. I loved it, I use it a lot. Um, and then this is how we know it's going to be color refresh and because it's in a paper, so it's coming back. They never put retired, um, paper, um, or retired colors in a card stock. So it's got, we're going to know later this month. So, and I was lucky enough. I was just pulling all my supplies and I even didn't even put it away in my retired file. So this is, um, pretty peacock and I have ink as well. So we're going to use it. Um, evening evergreen is kind of similar to that. Uh, so, so this is evening evergreen. See when you put two, I mean, it's, like, I actually didn't even put them uh, separately before, but I mean, what's the contrast? So part of me thinking that if this color is coming back and it's kind of green, that they probably not, they're going to retire this color. It's supposed to retire because of two years in color, but I don't know. I could hope. I like this color. Um, they could take Mossy Meadow and leave me this one. I don't know. We'll see. So, Okay. Um, enough talking. Let's just get to creating our fun fold. So as I mentioned, we're going to use um, two six by six pieces. Let me put everything away. I'm trying to be organized and don't lose anything in my table. Shaded screws goes away. So this paper, we're going to cut to five and a half. And because I like everything flowers, so I probably, I'm going to cut half inch from the top. So let's do that. What did I do with my cutter here? My cutter. 
Okay, so we're gonna do five and a half. We're gonna cut it from the top. And for this one, I wanted to cut it at four and a half. So technically you could kind of glue them together and, and do similar thing, but I thought even one and a half inches left over, I could have nice border. So four and a half works great. So I'm gonna save this piece and do something else with that. So this is the piece and let's create exactly the same one on that side. So five and a half, chop it from the top and I'm chopping from this side four and a half and this smaller piece will stay for some other project. Okay, so this one for now for inside if I want them kind of be, I don't think it's kind of matter, but you could just do it like that. And I want to score half inch, then two, two and a half, and then half inch from this side and two and a half. So this one will require a little bit of thinking. Let's see if, you know, everything gonna work as we planned. Um, so I'll do half inch and then two and a half okay and this piece it's kind of the same but i'm gonna do two inches and four inches because i want this go on that side make sense so half inch two inch to each inch section so and i'm gonna mark two inch here on top like we did before and then two inch in here and let's see what we have. I don't, I'm actually really curious to see how this gonna work out. So let's see. Um, so this is, and it's, I think I want this piece inside. Um, let me think for a second. Because I'm flipping it. Okay. Because I want to, when I open the card, I want to see it. Let's see. We may, we may change our mind. Um, it's basically interchangeable. So I wonder if I want to see it inside. I want to see it outside. But outside, you most likely going to cover it with a centerpiece. So you will not see that pattern paper. But... That's what I did. I did something wrong hold on okay if you glue this one then we don't see it right so we want to see this thing inside so Maybe it's only the way it's gonna work. Hold on. Oh, please. I'm thinking. I guess it's required engineering degree when it's extra fold. All right. Okay. I figured out. Okay. They're gonna do it this way. If I want it inside, it's gonna be outside. Okay. Whew. Scared. Get scared for a second. Okay. So this is how it's gonna work. Okay. So now we're gonna take our cutter. And as you could see, it just, now you have two pieces, so it's slightly different to work with, a little bit harder. But again, there is a way if you have six by six paper. So that little tick mark and um, that scored line, we're gonna put it, I'm not even looking at your comment, I got the swe sweaty for a second. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's not gonna work, I wasted my pretty paper. No, it will work. And so the same as here, we're gonna cut from this corner to this corner. And I like when a back has kind of the non-directional pat pattern, so it doesn't matter how you're gonna glue your 
um, little triangle. Okay, let's see. I'm really curious. How's this card gonna look? It should be special card. So this is goes away for now. Wow, and hello from Sweden. What time is it now? <laughs> That's probably pretty late. You can think it's six hours difference or five. Well, still not that long. But all right, so this is what we gonna have. And we're gonna glue this piece. And it's interesting, see that it's almost hard to tell because it's a similar one. But we're gonna do this side. And uh, see what I'm kind of struggling with? It's just really close, so it's hard to tell. So then I guess we're gonna do this side. We're gonna do whatever side is kind of looking similar to that. I guess we're gonna do this one. Okay, so let's go ahead and glue. So again, the same design, the same corners. We're just gonna glue them and it's create illusion that it's folded, but it's not. All right, and then this corner. Then the measurements of the paper, it's exactly the same as in the first card. It's gonna be four and a half, four and a quarter by five and a half. So this is your standard um, sheet of paper. And we're gonna glue this one on top. And this is how it's gonna look like. What do you think? I think it's look really, really pretty. Uh, you could use either tear tape. Um, I like to work with wet glue, Tombow, or any choice that works for you. It gives me a little bit of wiggle room. So I'm gonna glue it here. And we're gonna do the same. We kind of want them to line up in the center. Kind of. So this is this is gonna create your fold. And this is what I was saying. If it's gonna be a little bit off, you could always, this is why I wanted to have my, okay, perfect. So look how pretty when it's open. And this piece we're gonna cover with um, our basic white. So it's about three fourths by five and a half. And it's gonna be So I'm located in Florida, Daytona Beach area, on a coast, uh, but I'm originally from Ukraine, so if any of you wondering my accent, I know I'm never going to lose it, even so I'm here for like 20 some years, but I guess I may, if I could try harder with the pronunciation, but. Yeah, and my kids have no accents. My daughter was born in Ukraine, but she was two and a half when we moved, and my son born here. He has huge accents speaking Ukrainian. But, all right, so this is our basic fold, and let's see what other pieces we have. Thank you, Jean. Yeah, this, it just, I, I like when paper is actually does have its own spot, right? When it shines. So this one, I use a big, the biggest um, stitched square. And this is what I'm saying, you're not necessarily, this piece, even so it's here, you don't ne really necessarily see it. And I will be mounting it on, uh, I think it's three by three. It's also pretty peacock. And for this card, I'm, I'm being lazy. I just cut a bunch of, um, flowers from designer paper and uh, some extra leaves, some gold leaves. So we'll see what we're gonna assemble. So let me bring the stamp set and pretty peacock ink. And I wanna do thank you cards. I use a ton of thank you cards and I wanna do thank you. Actually really like um, how the sentiment font is looking your block. Yeah, so if you're liking this bundle and you're considering it, check check out um, my funstamper.com um, club, fun creations club. I only ship in US, uh, but after 
uh, I release the club, the tutorials will be available with different hands and, and things like that. I just released, I think, 10 days ago, maybe maybe two weeks ago, uh, my Brood for You um, club, and it was amazing club. It has three times two, they, everybody that make time two, but it's three different design full cards, then four different designs, um, note cards, five tags, and I also had uh, three alternative projects as well. So it was like my mega class. All right, do I wanna? Okay, it'll be clean. I wonder if I wanted to do that little splatter. So we're gonna glue this one. And this is fun. This is this is particular one, uh, and this is what Michelle was using. Uh, she was using that stitched square, and it was like it really strike me. So, see if you put it like that, you really kind of see the border, um, and it's really cool when you have um, designer paper that it's even contrast. So this one is not that much contrast, but I wanted to use it. I like to use new stuff. So we're gonna put one here, um, kind of to the corners. Love to use my dimensionals. I like when cards have a lot of poppy happy things. Oh, how sweet of you, Anne. You need to post a picture of those crocheting sunflowers. I wonder how they look like. The crocheting sunflowers. Oh, that's, that's so sweet. Yeah, thank you everybody for well wishes and helping my country. It's definitely needed. So, yeah, but the stamping is what makes me happy and what makes me not think about what's going on. Um, all my family is in Ukraine, so it's difficult. Okay, so let's go ahead and use those flowers. Maybe this one is a little bit too pastel for me, but that's, we're going to roll with that. Maybe I'm not going to do that much flowers. What do you think? Maybe just one. Probably stamped one will be more prettier, but yeah, we'll just do one flower. So it's just a little bit too much pink for my liking. <laughs> Some people will not agree and say you cannot have too much pink, but... I think you can. Even so, uh, I become a big fan recently of um, Battle Pink and Flirty Flamingo. I think Stampin' Up actually have a lot of paper that coordinates with those um, colors. And I started to use, I think last two classes, somehow uh, we use Battle Pink Ice Cream class um, and By the Bay. Yeah, check my blog. I have a bunch of pictures with those bundles. Um, and I do have tutorials for the classes. Okay, I'm going to do gold leaf. And I do one more. And I think this card will be one another card that I will not be able to, to use any ribbon. Ay -ay -ay. I'll try later. I was trying to get a bow and put in it, but yeah. Love my ribbon. Okay, and here, and that's gonna be all. We'll put a bling, so at least we'll have space for bling. I think we could still do a few of those. I think this looks good. Let's go here. Yeah, Monica, yeah, this is this is really pretty and soft and okay, so this is the basic fold and let's find some bling. Be using this is carrying over um festive pearls. Love those because you actually have multiple colors. So let me use few golds. Oh, 
with a bling, I always kind of thinking, do I do random? Oh, I do more uniformed. When it's this type of shape, I'm not sure which one I like. Let's I just do random. And maybe put, I wonder, this one will be too red, right? Let's try to do those silver inside of the flowers. I'll put three to add a little bit more to the inside of the flower. And we are finished, my friends. In a day or two um, on my blog, I will have dimensions and alternative projects. Also, um, on my Facebook page, you will see more creations. I'm planning to do the same one with the By the Bay. So, look at that. Ta-da! Obviously, we could stamp it here, write it down. But I think it's simple and sweet. What do you think? Yeah, colors. This, this color will be... Yeah, I like this color. I didn't realize how much I like this color. So, in here, this is the one with a smaller um, square and a little bit more gold. And this one is a pink. And I really like this one inside. I think it's my favorite. I cannot have too much flowers. And this is the one um, that I use, Hues of Happiness. So, see her paper a little bit more contrast, so you could have different colors. This one is a little bit too monochromatic. But this is the cards we made. Please leave me a comment. Please share video with your friends. And please try this fold and get inspired. So thank you so much for watching and sticking up with me. And I hope to see you next Wednesday at 6 p.m. here on my Facebook page. And until then, happy stamping. Bye!